Hey guys! Okay, so I want to uh, go over something that I've been promising a video of for a long time and I just haven't done it. I've been busy doing other stuff and I just really didn't want to remember this uh, that happened. But since it keeps the story, people keep saying things that I don't think are true online. Um, I'm going to go ahead and address it. So, uh, in late June of 2018, one of my eBay accounts was banned. I mean, just banned. Um, permanently, no ifs, ands, or buts, and it was because I was using a software called SKU Grid, which a lot of people use. SKU Grid um, tried to circumvent uh, eBay's uh, APA licensing agreement by teaching their users how to step-by-step um, -step go in and get their own API license or something. I don't even remember. But SKU Grid told its users, you know, we're having a problem because apparently eBay banned them uh, from revoke their API license so nothing we had online could reprice. So I was on vacation at this time, put all my stores on vacation mode. Okay, then they say, oh you can go in and do this. So we go in and do this and um, uh, this fix, they called it, temporary fix. So they walked everyone through how to do it, did a video, here's how you do it, sent emails. Um, unfortunately, doing that violated eBay's API license agreement and a bunch of us got banned for it permanently. No warning, no coming back, no nothing. Uh, the only way, and SKU Grid was horrible during all this. Absolutely horrible. They said, well, we'll give you lifetime use of our software. Well, none of us want to use your software ever again because of what happened. So there were a group of us and we took steps and kind of um, got together, got our own Facebook group so we could communicate with each other, those of us that it happened to. And I mean, these are people who I mean, a couple of them really needed their eBay accounts. They really depended on their eBay accounts. They were banned. Um, eBay wouldn't speak to them even about it. And um, finally we got through, we went through, we tried many different ways. And finally we got through to somebody at eBay, explained it to them that, you know, SKU Grid, SKU Grid had, had told us to do this, instructed us to do this, said it would be fine, and then it wasn't, and our accounts got banned. So because of this company's bad advice, we all got our accounts banned. So after a long time dealing with eBay and going back and forth, uh, we did get our accounts unbanned. Thank you, thank you. Uh, but it was nothing, it had nothing to do with SKU Grid. SKU Grid did nothing to help. Um, I mean, absolutely nothing. The customer service was absolutely horrible, absolutely horrible. They didn't offer, they didn't offer basically any help at all in getting our eBay accounts back saying, well, eBay says we can't, you know, talk to them about, you know, your accounts. Okay. So they just kind of let us sink on our own. Um, here, when we finally got our accounts back, okay, here's the email that was sent out directly from eBay, okay? Uh, hello, after a review of your appeal, you may again sell on eBay. Yay! Your account was restrict restricted because eBay concluded that you took measures to circumvent enforcement of eBay's developers program terms of use and or API, eBay's API license agreement. What that means, I believe, is that SKU, SKU Grid tried to, since they were banned apparently, tried to get around eBay's rules by having us all do this ourselves and eBay saw through it and went, 
ban, 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 ban. So eBay, SKU Grid, by doing this, ne was negligent and got all of our accounts banned, just like their account had been banned with the eBay uh, API developer and license agreement. This is, however, after review of your appeal, eBay has agreed to reinstate your selling privileges. Now, this is rare. Those of you who've been dealing with eBay for a long time know this is rare. Please note, and I want to make sure that you all hear this, please note that any future use of Rachitsky RND LLC DBA SKU grid or their related tools may result in a permanent selling restriction regards eBay. So what does that mean? That means that eBay does not want Rachitsky RND LLC DBA SKU grid being used on their platform. So we all, all of us who were banned in my group anyway, in uh, my Facebook group of people who were banned that got together, uh, I heard someone posted today that all the people were banned are back, you know, most of them are back using SKU grid. That's not true. That is absolutely not true. We do not use SKU grid because here in eBay's own words, any future use of their software or related tools may result in permanent selling restriction. We're not using SKU Grid, okay? So I don't know why anyone would use SKU Grid. I have no clue after what happened. Um, getting my account, one of my account accounts banned, it was my main account. It's never, never recovered from that. It's never gotten to the strength where it was before. Um, before, I will tell you that we had our top sales day. I just started that account uh, selling. It was an old account and I had sold before, so it had some history. But I had just restarted selling. Um, it had a high limit, but I had just restarted selling in like March. So. March, April, May, June, the end of June, like four or five months. Um, and our, our top sales day, we were having regularly $3,000 to $5,000 sales days. Uh, our top day, I think in June was 8800 We were doing phenomenally well. And then because of SKU grid, bam, it all just hit a wall uh, at the end of June. And then the account ban when we were trying to get it back back up and going because of them it has never ever uh, reached its full potential again sales days on that account are usually around a thousand dollars sometimes a lot of times it's less it's just I think building it back up is going to take a long time after what happened so, um, but yeah, I, I don't know why anyone would use SKU Grid. I'm telling you right now that in my opinion, nobody who does drop shipping on eBay should take a chance and use SKU Grid, especially after you see this email from eBay. Any future use of SKU Grid or related tools may result in a permanent selling restriction. Why would you take the chance? So. Um, I just wanted to clear up some false perceptions that are out there. I think I hope this uh, was educational and I hope um, you will keep this in mind uh, when you decide what software to use. See ya.